So hello, good uh, good afternoon or good night to Miss Piggy Hand from Dorsey, always ahead. Imagine that. Um, I'm Jose Nunes. I'm a promoter of Traffic Monsoon. I'm also a certified and qualified internet marketing professional. Okay, I've been working online, helping companies, you know, big organizations. Okay, uh, setting up their marketing campaigns and stuff like that. But in Traffic Monsoon, I'm nothing more than an affiliate and a promoter. So I promote the Traffic Monsoon. I refer people to it to buy advertising. And basically, you know, based on your updates, based on what I see on your website, and since, you know, you've been taking information, I believe, from sites like, uh, uh, sites who, who call themselves to expose scams, I would just like to ask a couple of questions regarding to, you know, uh, one of the points where you say that, uh, you know, you wanted to know if a Char Scoville still live on his basement or apartment. Uh, if he doesn't, then you want to try and recoup some of that money back. Now, since you want to do that, I would like to ask you, will you go in by, be going back to PayPal and be asking PayPal to return their payment processing fees that they made uh, while Traffic Monsoon is working at PayPal? Uh, also, will you go back to this uh, SMI or the Simons Investment Company and ask them for 700000 you know, that Charles will pay them, supposedly, to try and release PayPal fund, funds, the traffic monsoon funds that were frozen on PayPal. This is just some, some simple questions since, you know, I'm reading your work and I'm not very impressed, to be honest. I'm not very impressed, but they, I don't know. I don't know what's going on in there in the USA. If you actually think that people in the other parts of the world are stupid or ignorant, I don't know what's wrong with you guys. But obviously, I got a feeling that the only way that traffic monsoon is going to lose this case is by corruption. By law, we should win. And traffic monsoon should be back in business. I should be able to carry on making my sales and getting my traffic. So could you please reply to these two simple questions? Will you go back to PayPal and ask them to return the processing fees? And will you go back to this company, uh, you know, uh, SMI, and ask them to return the money? Since, uh, you know, apparently the money comes from a Ponzi. So if it's illegal money, it should be returned, right? So I would like you to reply to these questions either below this video or an email which I will be mailing to you together in this video. I'm Zenunz, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate and subscribe. Bye bye for now.